Hey everybody, Ray here. As you can see, the top of this chair has broken off of the pedestal that holds it. We're going to fix this. It's going to be simple and easy. If you want to see how I do it, stick around and I'll show you. And don't forget, if you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe. As you should be able to see on the video, there's actually a peg that slides down into the bottom of this pedestal here, whatever you want to call this shaft, and then it slides up this way into this chair, and then the whole thing is glued together. Somehow, that dowel that was in there, the peg, has come off. I suspect maybe it was on there, my granddaughter tipped a chair over, it snapped it, and it broke that peg. So we're going to take care of that. In order to replace that peg, you'll have to buy yourself a new one. These are available pretty much at any uh, hardware store like Home Depot or Lowe's or Menards. And you can see it's got some ridges here where it's, uh, it pokes out a little bit from the dowel and that helps it fit nice and tightly into the hole. So. I have selected a 3 8 bit here. I'm not sure if that's the size I need, but I selected a 3 8 bit. And then what I did was I drilled a hole into a test piece of wood here. When I fit my dowel in there, it fits in there snugly, but I can still get it in. So I know that that's the right size drill bit to use for this particular peg. So what I'll do is use the old peg as a guide here. So I'll find the middle of that peg, both on this piece and then up on this piece. And then what I'll do is take a little hole punch here, and I'll just start a hole right in the middle. So when my drill bit starts in there, it's not going to move around and get off center. So if I'm centered here and centered underneath, when I drill my holes, then my peg should fit in there perfectly aligned with the top and the bottom of the chair. Next, I'm going to go ahead and drill a little pilot hole because the, the larger size 3 8 drill bit is going to tend to want to move around a little bit and be sloppy. So I'm going to start with just a little pilot hole here. Then I can switch to my larger bit and make sure it stays in my guide hole. <laughs> and drill that down enough so that, so that your peg is going to fit in there nicely. Once you've got that done, you can test your peg. Yep, it's going to go down in there. The next thing I will do is take a file and just sort of smooth off this rough edge here to make sure that it seats nice and tight when I put it down. This will also get some of the old glue off there and make sure that I'm gluing to the wood like I want to. Okay, we got that pretty smooth in there. For our next step, we're going to move it up to the top here. I set the table, the chair upside down on my workbench, and we're going to repeat that same process where the old dowel was here. We get our little, little notch started there. Drill our pilot hole. switch bits and 
drill the larger hole. Test our peg here. Yep, we're going to fit right in there too. All right, we're pretty well set to go here. So what I'm going to do first is to take my dowel, get some glue on it, and then I'm going to insert first into this the top of the pedestal that comes up. I want to make sure that I get it in far enough that I can still get my chair to go back and seal, but not too far that it goes out of sight like I just did. So I'll have to pull that back out just a little bit. So we got our new peg put in there. And we're going to leave it out far enough that I can still stretch this top and get it back over here and slide it up into the hole that I created in the top. I left it a little bit long to dry in this piece right here. If in fact it's a little too long for me to stretch this and slide it under, I can always file the end off. But I'd rather have it a little bit long than a little bit too short. We were fortunate in that we had enough play or slack in our wood that I could move it around, pull the top up, and be able to slide that peg back into place. The first thing I want to do is make sure I get plenty of glue on there. I want plenty on the peg, and I also want it on the top and the bottom. In this case, I'd rather have excess glue. If in fact there's too much glue and I've got some squeeze out to deal with, then I'll take care of that after the fact. So you can see here that I've applied plenty of glue in there. Once I've got plenty of glue, then I can pop those pieces together and bring them flush with each other. We'll go ahead and clean off that excess glue with a damp paper towel. It cleans up very easily when it's wet like this. Once we get that done, we're going to go ahead and find a way to clamp this together. I have a long clamp that I can attach to the top of the chair and then under the seat and clamp it together. If you don't have that, you could simply stand the chair up on its four legs and put a rope under the seat, over the top, and then back under the seat, and then just tighten it down that way. Just as long as you have some pressure to keep on that joint while the wood is drying. Once your clamp is set, you can take your moist paper towel and wipe off any glue that is squeezed out once you've compressed that joint. Now you're ready to let it dry. Okay, so there's the way the repair looks from the front. So what we're going to do is just let this glue dry overnight and then we'll take off that clamp and test it. Uh, make sure that it's nice and tight on there and uh, we'll go from there. But I think it looks like it's going to work just fine. It was a fairly easy repair. It's kind of an old table set that's kind of beat up that they keep around. but. You know, it's kind of silly to have a four chair table set and only three chairs. So I brought this chair home with me to fix it up and I think it's going to work just fine. Well, our glue repair worked out just fine. The back of this chair is nice and solid. And if I try to pick it up from the back, you can tell that it's glued on there very tightly. That's not coming off. So if you have a chair that needs to be repaired, whether it's this, this joint or some other joint on the chair, go for it. Give it a try. What can it hurt? It's already broken, right? Maybe you'll fix it and it'll work out really well. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.